In this video, we're going to go through uh, our top five uh, recommended books for technical detailing. Um, and a, a, a mention a sixth a little bonus one as well. Um, so, yeah, let's just get right into it. So, first things first, I want to point you in the direction of uh, this handbook. Um, and what I will do as well, I'll, I'll leave all the links uh, below as well, just so you can go straight to them. Um, and this one is called the Robust Details Handbook. Now, I'm not sure what it's like uh, internationally, but in the UK, this uh, handbook provides a guideline for a set of details that if you detail as the architect and the contractor builds to these details, then, as it says there, you won't have to take pre-completion sound test. It's very, very good um, for, for a quicker process in obtaining your building regulations. And all you need to do to get a free copy is just sign up to the website. So that's number one, very, very good book. Number two is a detail in contemporary residential architecture. Now I think every good architect should be able to design a good house. And when I say design, I also mean a detail as well. I think this, the, the sign of a good architect is a, his or her built work and obviously the success of their built work. So, uh, you know, I, I, I think a good architect should be very good at detailing. And if we can just take a look at this book, the good thing with Amazon is it gives, more often than not, gives it a little, a little peek inside. And this book, and it, this book is part of a series as well. Um, th th there are tons of books done by, uh, tons of books done by this author uh, on concrete timber and what have you. And the details that they show are of very, very nice pieces of modern architecture. Whether that is residential or not, they are very aspirational projects. So I think to be able to understand how to detail you know, buildings like that, um, it, it, it won't half help uh, your career in the long run. So um, this is number two. Detail in contemporary residential architecture and it's by Virginia McLeod and then you can see when you go on Amazon obviously it recommends the other books um, my favourite of you know I'd say this is your number one this is your absolute go to one but then my favourite other one in this series is the detail detailing and contemporary glass architecture I know it sounds weird but I think understanding how glass buildings go together is another you know important weapon in your arsenal um, glass buildings go together very differently to you know your masonry buildings uh, concrete buildings and things like that your other more solid buildings they have a, a, a theme to them if you like once you lay out a detail one you can sort of translate that skill in, in into into other forms of construction but when it comes to glass it's very different glass is often used as a curtain wall so you need to understand how a curtain wall braces back to a steel frame for example so this is another absolute must. And you can see the way you know it, it demonstrates what the building looks like first and foremost, gives you an idea of that. And then it shows you how it's detailed through you know, detailed drawings such as that, but then it gives you little 3D perspectives, which, which I think are you know, very, very useful in, um, in your training. Okay, so that's book number three. Book number four is architecture in detail and I'm pointing in the direction of volume two. Now this book is one of, if not the best, for showing you diagrammatically how a building goes together. Seeing a detail in 3D really hammers home the philosophy and the principle of construction. Um, some of our guys in, in our studio are, are starting to better understand the difference between just understanding how to draw something and understand what each component is you draw and what that contributes to the construction of, of a build project. And that's what this book does tremendously well through the use of 3D diagrams. So if we just scroll through, I'm sure there's a little example of a few there you go look at that perfect so even even something as simple as like a like a, a stair detail there seeing it carved away in 3d just really hammers home 
what the component parts are doing rather than just blindly drawing the detail as you're told this will make you understand why basically and that's that, that's such an important part of architectural detail so it's a really really important one that's so that's number four and then number five is a bit more of an old school one but it's very very good now when i say old school i'm i'm, I'm kind of giving you the heads up here that some of some of these books mightn't be bang up to date with with your countries or your or your local authorities building regulations so always check that you know thermal um you know values are, are getting stricter acoustic values are getting stricter so always keep up to date with that but this book is very good for again explaining the principles behind construction and it really does go into absolutely everything as you can see there you know pretty old school but i do i do believe in understanding some of the old school philosophies so you can apply that to your your day-to-day -day. um you know production of your detailing so you can see here you know it, it just it just explains you know what an edge beam is what a column is secondary beam beams main beams these terms are used daily whether it's at university or in meetings and to get some of these uh, terms down and understand exactly what they're doing you know you, you'll just better you, you'll better handle yourself in certain environments but then when someone is explaining something to you say it's an engineer explaining the depth of an edge beam well you'll instantly understand what they're talking about so again that will be able to you know help translate into your technical work you can see there you know pad foundations strip foundations pile foundations this book is absolutely brilliant it's a big one it's a, it's a chunky book i wouldn't suggest you just sit there and read through it but it's it's a great point of reference so they're my top five books for detailing but then the sixth little bonus book i want to mention is this one building construction illustrated now what this does is goes into more detail of how you should be drawing your details so that they're a bit more illustrative and then as a result more clear so things like hatching you know different types of brick what how they should be hatched differently um you know that's a little bit of curtain walling um you can see there you know if, if you're showing bits of elevation how you should show them this book really explains how you can graphically enhance your detailing and as a result the better um your details are presented you know treat treat your sheets of details as works of art and they will be better explained to those who are viewing them on site so there's our top five uh, detailing books and a little bonus book there just to give you a, a, a little help on how you should be presenting your, your technical drawings so i hope that's been useful guys and as i say i'll leave all the links in the description below and uh, any questions just uh, leave them in the comment section thank you very much